Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper, and TireRack.com. Seems like every vehicle on the road these days has all-wheel drive. Many even have a cool off-road package. But if you're going to do some serious off-roading, you're going to need a serious machine. This is the Kawasaki Terex KRX 1000. And if you've been following the Kawasaki side-by-side -side story, you'll know they started out with the workhorse mule, then stepped up trail performance with the Terex. Now they've gone full bonkers with a machine strictly built for conquering any off-road situation, whether you're talking about high-speed desert runs or the muddy roots and rocks of the East Coast. Our drive time came on a cold winter's day in West Virginia's wonderful Hatfield-McCoy trail system, where we found everything from smooth dirt to technical rocky climbs and even some ice and mud from recent rains. The KRX made easy work of all of it with willing power, compliant suspension, and great ground clearance. Engine is a rear-mounted 999cc parallel twin rated at 112 horsepower and 77 pound-feet of torque. It has plenty of low-end grunt, yet always seems to have a little bit more available on the top end when called upon. Suspension pieces are heavy duty and ready to handle plenty of abuse, aided by Fox 2.5 Podium LSC shocks with 19 inches of travel up front, 21 inches in back. The 98.8 inch wheelbase and 59 inch track provide a stable platform as does the beefy frame. True beadlock 15 inch wheels wear 31 inch Maxxis carnivores. Ground clearance is more than 14 inches. While we tend to loathe CVTs and passenger cars, the CVT in the KRX is very responsive and feels like it belongs. You can run in high or low range, rear or four wheel drive, plus lock the front diff if necessary. Electric power steering has no problem keeping up when speeds are high and feel is heightened when tackling the slower stuff. While not built with utility in mind, there is still a small bed-like cargo area and back to haul a cooler, camping gear, or even a full spare wheel and tire with plenty of tie-downs to keep everything in place. Both two and four seat versions are available. And if you spent any time in the standard Terex, you'll appreciate the KRX's generous legroom and improved high back bucket seats, which easily handle full days on the trail. The interior still appears more utilitarian than sporty, but there is a comprehensive digital instrument display and thoughtfully placed storage bins. No matter the form, performance-oriented machines are generally priced accordingly, and $23,199 to start is a significant investment for most, though it's more than competitively priced with its competition. Sure, you could go down to the local car dealer and buy a vehicle that's marketed as being adventure ready, or you can pick one up that's actually built for the job that can actually take a beating and keep on speeding. It's the 2023 Kawasaki Terex KRX 1000, and it's ready to go green wherever you want to take it.